Yeah, there's a huge step. That... I think this is actually the worst haircut I've ever had. I know there will be a lot of you who think that I'm some sort of massive diva and really like, precious, but I'll tell you something, actually in life, I'm really not. I always think as long as you've got your health, your family, your happiness, all of that, it's fine. But one thing I can't cope with is when someone doesn't listen to what you ask for and when that something is your hair. So yesterday, I had a, um, a press appointment, so basically went in to go and meet a PR about some new sort of hair products and stuff and they had a barbershop next door and I was like, you know, I don't normally get my hair cut in other places, I'm very happy with Dom, hi Dom, who I'll be seeing later today. And um, they said, oh, you know, you can pop in for a full service, so I got my eyebrows done, they're threaded, they're very neat and very pleased, they sort of trimmed up, they did a shave. And then he was like, do you want your hair done? And I was like, um... I'm not too keen on having my hair done, but do you know what? You can take a bit off the back and sides and just neaten it up. It's been like two weeks since I had my hair cut. You know what it's like. You just want it to be neat. Um, also, sorry for my appearance at the moment. I literally have just been to the gym. This is me in a bit of a rush. Scrambled eggs, salmon, trying to get stuff done um, before I go out and get this haircut sorted. Anyway, sat in the chair. Told the guy kind of what I wanted and got it all done. I mean, the top is totally fine because I said don't touch the top, but... This has been shaved all the way up as a one, which I never get done. That should be as a fade, which I'd mentioned. And then this has been faded into this, which is more like a, a two length. And he started on this side and then did this one straight up. There was nothing I could do. I have said, guys, in all my videos, anything about here, I've been like, you've got to be so clear with someone about what you want because you know when you sit in that chair you're in their hands and they should be like taking you on this hair journey so when it started to happen and I was like this is not what I wanted I was like we have to stop it happened because someone didn't listen to me and decided that they knew best with my own hair which I've had for 30 years I'm like no hun no this is not my vibe done never been more excited to go for a haircut with Dom. Um, firstly, tell me, am I being a massive diva about this or does it not look You're right? Not being, no, it doesn't look right, not at all. Okay. It's got to look too high. This is where your line should come up to here. Yeah. It's got to take a good length up once you move out here. Yeah. But you'd never really do that if you'd done that side as a fade, would you? No. There's no fade there, it just stops. Yeah. See that on the camera? Look. Fuck. Yeah, there's a huge step. That... I think this is actually the worst haircut I've ever had. <laughs> I've had some bad ones in my time. That looks like... I look like a monk. <laughs> my issue is it just like looks all like one line. It just looks really like amateur. Do you think maybe if we just took it really tight on the ear and it just yeah, like had do. a slight just, step? Just, I mean, yeah. Like even go a zero there. Yeah, we'll take a zero yeah. here and just fade up a little just bit. Just to make just it look like it's actually a bit more styled. Yeah. Alright, we're going higher on this. Well, lower really, isn't it? Yeah, we'll just What's that? Like a zero. Into a zero. I feel like there'll be so many guys that are watching this who have literally been in this same position. This is what happens when I cheat on you and I go to someone else. Like, actually, that does look better already. Sure. Yeah. Because it actually looks like it's been it's supposed to have been cut like that rather than someone's left a fibre or to have a go here. See, that looks a lot, lot better, just tighter. And then here, what do we do? Uh, we can either leave it to let it grow. Yeah. You do it just for a Because it'll hide it, you see? Yeah. Just means I'm going to have to wear my hair like this. Yeah. Forever. Because with that like that, it sort of hides it and it sort of blends into it anyway. Yeah. It's neater now though, at least. Like that being tighter is a lot better. Yeah. I look like one of those like steampunk <laughs> people with this boosh on my head. Thanks. Yeah, do it. Shave it all off. Yeah, let's just shave it all off. 
Is that right, Lance? I'm not going to yeah. 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 So I think it's going to be good it's kind of shorter than I've had it for a while, but I'm yeah, kind of like half the point of hearing. Yeah. I'm going to fade it in a little bit, and all. What do you mean, like that yeah, knot? It just stops, just stops here. It's a bit bulky. You might just blend it. Maybe just take it a little bit, bit off. Yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah. Honestly, this looks so much better. So much better. I actually look like a human being now. Dramatic. It does look good, doesn't it? It looks much better shorter. Maybe this is what we needed to do. Go through an awful haircut to get a good one. Thank you. Day. But we're sorted. I am so much happier with this. I literally am like Dom has done such a good job. It's all I wanted was it to look styled rather than a mistake So, you know, he's gone a lot closer in around the ears on both sides and just taken it up And then actually taking quite a lot of length off the top Which I wasn't really planning on doing but I actually quite like it and I'm kind of happy with it, but um I think the main lesson from this let's take a lesson is just like if you're not happy with something, you need to stop someone and tell them, like, I am lucky that he didn't actually cut into the top. I just know it's so easy to sit there in a barber seat and just let them get on with it because it's their, you know, it's their profession, it's their environment. They, they do know what they're doing and I've had so many great experiences with people who kind of like work with you in helping you find the right sort of cut for you, the shape of your head, your sort of lifestyle, what, you, what kind of suits you, but this was just like everything that I didn't want in that haircut yesterday. Um, but as you saw, <laughs> Tom is a great guy. I'll link his Instagram down below in the description, so go and follow him. Um, he knows exactly what he's doing. He also like knows me from the times I've been in. He knows how I dress, he knows how I like carry myself, and he just knows kind of what hair will suit me, but that's it. Um, I wanted to take you along today and show you that it can be sorted, because I knew it could be, and I'm just really pleased that it's sorted. But thank you very much for watching. Um, if this is the first video of mine that you've watched, then please do press subscribe. The button, where will it be? Up there. Give it a click. There's also more video suggestions down there. Stay with me and watch them, or also there's a link to my blog down there. But guys, I'm gonna see you again. Um, I'll see you on Sunday. Bye-bye.